Everybody bow your heads with me, please. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we just come before you tonight, Lord. Lord, we just thank you so much for what you're doing, Lord, in our city, Lord, to see the growth. Lord, it's so exciting, Lord, to see the new places going up, the new businesses going up, Lord, and the new job opportunities for everybody, God. And God, I'd just like to take this opportunity also, Lord, to thank you, Lord, and to, uh, Lord, we our heart mourns for those uh, young children that lost their lives this past weekend, Lord. We just pray for their families, Lord. We yes. pray for peace. Lord, and give their family peace and guidance, Lord. And, Lord, I know times is going to be tough coming up on them, Lord, with holidays coming. But, God, I just pray for peace for them, Lord. And just keep your arms and hedge of protection around them, Lord. And, Lord, again, I thank you so much for uh, the city council members, Lord. Continue to bless them, Lord. Lead, guide, and direct them, Lord. And, and for Councilwoman Miss McVeigh, Lord, we say a special uh, prayer for her mother, Lord. And again, God, we just thank you so much for what you're doing in our cities, God. We're just so excited to see the growth and to see the many changes that was been needed. And we thank you so much for everything you're doing in our lives, Lord. And again, thank you, God, for everything. And it's in your name we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Mr. Sheldon. Roll call, Mrs. Kirby. Councilwoman Horton. Here. Councilman Crocker. Here. Councilman Smith. Here. Councilman Davis. Here. Councilman Black. Here. Mayor Pro Tem McVeigh and Mayor DeGarris. Here. We do have a quorum. Thank you. Disclosure of interest. Any member of the City Council may disclose any possible conflict of interest dealing with either any item on the printed agenda or with any matter discussed at a previous meeting. Seeing none. Citizens input. Each person in the audience may take this opportunity to address the City Council on any matter which is not on the printed agenda. Okay, move on to the consent agenda. The items on the consent agenda are approved by a single action of the City Council. If any council member would like to have an item removed from the consent agenda and considered separately, he or she may request to do so. For none, I'd entertain a motion to approve the consent agenda as presented. So moved. Second. Motion and second. All in favor? Uh, Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Workshop items for discussion. The City Council review a petition for annexation for property located at 2848 Canal Boulevard and owned by Larry and John Rommel. Jan, Jan Rommel. Sorry. Mr. Massingham? Yes, this is the uh, property located right where Shelby Road is going or right next to it. Uh, this is really supposed to be part of the project when we uh, bought the property and we're just cleaning up that right now and they're going to be provided water and sewer service. It's where the uh, red building structure is on PP Highway. Make a motion to pass the voting session. Second. Motion second to pass this to the voting session, which will be November the 6th. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item B, the City Council discuss a proposed lease for farmland for property at the Poplar Bluff Airport. Mr. Rich. Uh, yes, Mr. Mayor and Council, um, this is a small strip of land on the east, or excuse me, on the west side of the runway um, that we acquired several years ago. Um, we um, leased back to the owners. There's about five tracks going south to north. Uh, we leased back exactly 7.6 acres each to those uh, landowners. Uh, one of the tracks uh, which we leased back, um, uh, the, the folks subsequently sold that land and then after it was sold, uh, they passed away. Um, during the conveyance of the land itself, they did not convey or assign uh, leasehold rights on our land, which uh, lies adjacent to the runway. Mike Nelson is the one that acquired that land. 
He's just asking. We, we did initially 19 years ago, we did 50 year leases on those uh, separate tracts of land. Um, Mr. Nelson, uh, now that he has acquired the um, adjoining land, um, has requested that we grant to him a leasehold that will expire at the same time that the remainder of the of the leases expire, and that's why it's 31 years instead of 50 on the original one. No questions. I entertain a motion to move this to the voting session, November 6. So moved. Second. Motion and second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item C, the City Council review a recommendation from the Planning and Zoning Commission to approve a request to rezone property from RS1 Rural Residential and RS2 General Residential to C2 General Commercial for continued and future commercial use and the development for property located at 3211 North Westwood Boulevard. The applicant is Larry Hillis Dodge, care of Larry Hillis, 3211 North Westwood Boulevard. Mr. Avery. Thank you, Mayor, members of the council. As you stated, Larry and Robin Hillis are the owners of this property. Uh, Hillis Dodge is what it's commonly known as in that area. Uh, they have accumulated property and consolidated it all uh, for commercial use, but uh, when it was annexed in 2012, it was not rezoned to commercial. Uh, we felt that this was the appropriate time to resolve that for the benefit of the Hillises and, and any future businesses that might wish to locate out there. Uh, uh, it's obvious that the present and future use of this will be commercial, so uh, taking it to a C2 general commercial zoning is logical. It is a non-conforming commercial use at this time, so, so it is important that they have the commercial zoning. Uh, there are a couple of parcels involved here. Uh, surrounding land use to the north would be County uh, Highway 67. To the south would uh, be M1 Light Industrial, Walmart, Neighborhood Market. To the east uh, is County, and then also farther east would be C2 General Commercial, which would be Meeks Lumber and First Midwest Bank and, and that area in there. And to the west also would be uh, the Eight Points development, which is M1 Light Industrial as well. Utilities are available and serving the site. It's accessible from Shelby Road, and a portion of their property is accessible from Palm and Locust Streets, which would be the, to the south and southwest of their parcel. Fire, fire protection is available. Fire station number one, number two is the first responder. And the applicant is requesting to rezone property from residential to commercial for continued and future commercial use. It is contiguous to uh, commercial use zoning of M1 on the south side. Zoning this property as commercial would not be out of character for the area, and the staff does recommend approval of this request. There were no questions or concerns as it moved through the planning and zoning process. Uh, I assume that y'all have a map that defines the area in question, and if you have questions for me or for <coughs> Mr. Hillis, uh, I would attempt to answer those. I have one question, Dennis. Yes. Is there an RS2 next to it? What happened, Philip, there was a small parcel that was to the west of the main Hillis tract, mm -hmm. and there was an old house sitting on that tract, and it was kind of back behind the old ball field that the church had, and that was in the city before Hillis has bought it, and it was already zoned RS2, single family, for the house that was on it. But the rest of it that they, that they have brought in, when it's not designated to be brought in otherwise, it by ordinance comes in as RS1. So that's why most of everything they have is RS1, but that one little piece was RS2. My question is, why shouldn't we just make it commercial also? We are. Okay. We are. Yeah, we're That we're makes sense. Models. Yes, sir. That's part of the story. Okay. Thank you. Motion passes. Boom session. Thanks, Dennis. Uh, second. Motion second to pass item C to voting session November 6th. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Moving on to action required items. 
Bill number 8031, the City Council will take action on ordinance authorizing the mayor to execute a road relinquishment agreement between the City of Pop Bluff and the Missouri Highways and Transportation Commission relative to Herschel Best Boulevard. Make a motion for first reading of bill number 8031 by caption only. Second. Motion second for first reading. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Mr. Richardson. An ordinance authorizing the mayor of the city of Poplar Bluff, Missouri to enter into a roadway relinquishment agreement with the Missouri Highways and Transportation Commission for a portion of Herschel Best Boulevard. Motion for second reading. Second. Motion second for the second reading. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Mr. Richardson. An ordinance authorizing the mayor of the city of Poplar Bluff, Missouri to enter into a roadway relinquishment agreement with the Missouri Highways and Transportation Commission for a portion of Herschel Best Boulevard. Move for adoption of bill number 8031. Second. Motion second for adoption. Any questions or comments? Roll call, Mrs. Kirby. Councilwoman Horton. Yes. Councilman Crocker. Yes. Councilman Smith. Yes. Councilman Davis. Yes. Councilman Black. Yes. And Mayor DeGarris. Yes. Thank you. Bill number 8031 is passed. Bill number 8032, the City Council will take action on ordinance resubdividing an existing industrial subdivision for present and future commercial development. Move for first reading caption only of Bill 8032. Second. Motion second for the first reading. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Mr. Richardson. An ordinance approving the resubdivision of an industrial subdivision in the eight points development for present and future future use. Motion for second reading, caption only. Second. Motion second for the second reading. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Mr. Richardson. An ordinance approving the resubdivision of an industrial subdivision in the eight points development for present and future use. Motion for adoption. Second. Motion and second to adopt. Any questions or comments? Roll call, Mrs. Kirby. Councilman Crocker. Yes. Councilman Smith. Yes. Councilman Davis. Yes. Councilman Black. Yes. Councilwoman Horton. Yes. And Mayor DeGarris. Yes. Six Thank you. Bill number 8032 is passed. The City Council of the City of Poplar Bluff will meet in a closed meeting in which they will discuss such matters which are exempt under the Open Meeting Law, Section 610.021.1, .2, .3, .9, .11, .12, .13, and .14, Revised Statutes of Missouri. Make a motion to move into closed session after the City Manager's report. Second. Motion second. Roll call, Mr. Kirby. Councilwoman Horton. Yes. Councilman Crocker. Yes. Councilman Smith. Yes. Councilman Davis. Yes. Councilman Black. Yes. And Mayor DeGarris. Yes. Thank you. Mr. Massingham. Uh, just a few items. Uh, we've completed demolition on five of the houses in the uh, flood buyout project down in the uh, Hillcrest Park area. There are five more to be demolished in the, this phase of the project. Uh, the last several weeks, we've also demolished three structures, three houses that were condemned by the Building Standards Board. Over the last few months, summer months, the street department has overlaid a little over a mile of streets with asphalt uh, at a cost of approximately $85,000. Uh, we also have another $50,000 budgeted for uh, repair to concrete streets and sidewalks, which they are currently working on now. Uh, I do want to remind everybody tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock in the Coliseum parking lot, there will be a uh, celebration for the city's 100th anniversary of providing electricity to the city of Popper Bluff. And also, uh, just to let everybody know, we've got a public notice on Roxy Road, which is part of the Shelby Road, will go through Roxy. Roxy Road is scheduled to close to through traffic starting October 23rd, which is a week from today, for the construction of Fel Shelby Road Phase 2. The length of the closure is unknown at this time, but contractor will be working diligently to reopen the roadway to full traffic as soon as possible. Uh, emergency vehicles will have access to pass through. They're going to be hauling a lot of dirt 
uh, back and forth across that road and for safety issues it will have to be closed and that's all I have do you have any comment on the east side crossing the overpass or whatever that is on the east side that they're doing the closure I know they've been working on it. Well, they work all last week on it and hauled in a lot of dirt over there. Uh, they put in a really hard week last week, made a lot of progress. They've got the, the approaches built up on both ends. You know, they've got the roadway cut out. Uh, I got a call late, fairly late today, and there's some issues with some of the uh, soil, you know. And so I went over and inspected it, and then we're going to talk with the engineer in the morning. But We've made a lot of progress on it. I really think that probably by 10th of November or thereabouts, I, I hope to be have it completed back open. Now, there will be another phase because Union Pacific will be doing some work maybe in the late winter, early spring. So we're not going to close B Street and until such time as we know that everything's complete and, you know, in place for C Street. But Union Pacific will eventually close B Street. And they were going to close it whether we did this or not. So we, we wanted to do the best job we could to provide access to the Lower East Side. Yeah. Okay. So. Thank you. Nothing else to entertain a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Motion second. All in favor? Aye. 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 We're adjourned.